This is a Brocade Campus Feature Explainer Series. I'm Terry Henry. Uh, in this episode, we're going to talk about uh, link aggregation groups and adding, removing, and disabling ports within a deployed group. So we will look at our running config. So we already have a dynamic lag configured here. So uh, we've called it 272.50-1. It's dynamic. Uh, the ports are 121 and 123, and we have a primary port of 121, and it's deployed. So I'll have a quick look at the state of that and make sure that it's uh, still good, which it is. So we see there are two ports here, and we can see that they're both in an operational state. So uh, LECP is working. We have a peer at the other side that's correctly configured. So let's say we want to uh, remove a port from a deployed lag. So uh, we'll go into config T. Uh, and um, uh, well, f so first of all, let's talk about how to disable it. So if I want to disable the whole lag, I can do that. So I can undeploy the lag. That would be one way to do it. Or I can go into the physical interface of the primary port. And if I disable it at the interface level, so one slash two slash one, for example, if I do a disable here, it's going to shut down my whole lag. So all the ports in the lag are going to go down. So if I do a show lag again, now my entire lag is down. You see they're both in the down state here. Um, so usually that's not what you want to do. And usually you don't want to do that from a, from a physical port level. If I tried to um, shut down a secondary port or a member port, if you will, um, it's going to tell me that I can't configure that secondary port. So, um, so I can't do that th from there. So what if I do want to shut down an individual port um, or, and or the primary port of a deployed lag? Well, I would do that from the lag itself. So I go into to, to lag 272.50-1. Uh, and then here I can do a disable uh, and choose whichever port I want to disable here. So um, Ethernet 1 slash 2 slash 1. So show lag. So that port, we now see 1 slash 2 slash 1 is down, and the other one is still operational. So even though it's a primary port, it still let me shut it down, and it let me shut it down without shutting down all the remaining ports in that lag. So let's re-enable that. Uh, OK. Um, so let's say you want to remove a port from a lag. Uh, well, so I would again go into the lag itself and remove it from here. So do a no ports Ethernet. Uh, first, let's see what happens if I try to remove the primary port. So 1 slash 2 slash 1. It's going to refuse to do that in a deployed lag. So if I do want to remove that primary port for whatever reason, uh, then I would actually need to undeploy that lag um, change the primary port to something else, then remove that port. Um, but but I can remove any of the member ports at any time I like. So I can do a uh, no ports Ethernet 1 slash 2 slash 3 from a deployed lag, and that's fine. So I, that is fine. If I look back at my lag here, I now have only one port in my lag. Um, and so I can also add a port to a deployed lag, so that's fine. So if I do a port... Um, Ethernet 1 slash 2 slash 3. I now have my 1 slash 2 slash 3 enabled here. But what happened was uh, when I removed that port last time, when you remove a port from, from a deployed lag, it's automatically going to put it into a disable state. Right, so we can see that the state of that port is in a down state because it's been disabled by the configuration. And the reason it does that is because when you remove that port from the lag, the last thing we want to do is create a loop through the network and bring your network down just because you removed a port. So it's another safety mechanism uh, to to um, to stop you from having issues on your network. So now I would go to the interface itself, interface E one slash two slash three. Oh, I'm sorry. No, I need to enable it from the lag. So let's have a look at that. So under the lag configuration, it is deployed here, one slash uh, disabled under the lag. So if I go back to the lag, lag E uh, two 
7250-1. Uh, and then we're going to do an enable Ethernet 1 slash 2 slash 3. So now if I look at my lag again, so it's inactive at the moment, so the other side has not yet responded. And there we go. So it is now up and operational. So I had to wait for the other the LACP reply from the other side before it went into an operational state. And we're now back. So the beauty of this is you can add ports into a deployed lag. You can remove ports from a deployed lag as long as it's not your primary. And you can disable either all the ports in the lag by going into the physical primary and, and disabling it. Or you can go into the lag itself and disable any of the member ports. Okay, that's it. Thanks for joining.